Hey teachers, today I'm going to share with you how to get started on Vocabulary.com. I'm starting off in Google and I'm going to go to my apps and find Vocabulary.com. And here it is, it's the green box with the check mark. Now if you don't already see this, you may just need to go to more from G Suite and pick it up. <laughs> so you know, after that it will show in here. Okay. It already has me logged in, but I'm going to log out for the sake of showing you how to log in. Okay, um, if you're all set up with Google, of course you can use your Facebook, but let's, let's go with Google because we're doing Google Classroom and all those things. You can click on that and it should give you your name as an option. Super easy to log in. If you for some reason don't have these things but want to use vocabulary.com in your classroom then you'll go ahead and sign up it's free and takes five seconds as it says here so google okay so i'm already in and i need to create a class all right i'm going to name my class ninth grade etymologists And I can do an end date um, if I'd like. Why not? Okay. Um, search for school if I'd like. And grade level. Class description if I'd like. All right. And so that's pretty much it. Let's create class. Okay. And next thing you'll need to do is enter your students' email addresses in here to invite them. And you can also copy this and email it um, or post it to your Google uh, Classroom page. And so there's multiple ways for them to join this class. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put these in. And by the way, you have to put five email addresses at a time. And so uh, let me do that real quick and I'll come right back. Okay, now that I've sent all the email invites, I'm going to copy this link. I'm going to add it as a resource. So I go to my class page, create material. Okay, I'm going to add link. Da -da. All right. I'll say vocabulary list link oh man <laughs> okay um, you should have received an email invite but if not you can use the link Okay, you so, and I like to categorize things. It's vocabulary. Don't have to do that, but you can post. Okay, so there's a couple of different places where they'll be able to see that. So now that we've added students, we can move along. Let's go to assignments. Okay, I can create my own list or I can find a list to assign. I'm gonna find a list to assign because, um, you know, this is the first time we're doing this, so we're gonna keep it simple, or I can select another class. That's even more simple because if I click through this, there will be several things to look through, which look really interesting. Like you can pick up from a lot of books where vocabulary lists have already been generated test prep, which I think is pretty valuable, word origins, there's a lot of good lists in here already. Um, I chose one for another class that would be just fine for this class. So I clicked that drop down menu there and then I can pick which assignment. Only thing is uh, the quiz assignments you can't do unless you pay for a membership to get more features, but you can do you know, students can still do practice stuff. And so that's what we're going to do. OK, 
Okay, so now I've added an assignment, and um, Gradebook is also a paid thing, but you can at least see what they do. They can practice. You can give participation grades, whatnot. And if you want to pay five dollars a month, you can get more features from this. But anyway, this will get you started on a cool vocabulary resource um, and will hopefully save you some time on your planning as well while giving students an opportunity to practice vocabulary. Another thing that I thought was really interesting about this is that uh, students are able to actually compete with other students if they'd like. Um, you can see like top students, um, you know, so you, you can see who's answering the questions well, all kinds of neat little things. And so it's just a really neat feature. And how cool is that? I'm already getting feedback um, of, you know, one student has participated and whatnot. So um, that's really neat. But uh, they have where students can get on teams and compete, um, you know, so, you know, it can be like a game, but they're gaining the value of building their vocabulary. So I think that's really neat. And I think a lot of you will um, like that free resource that's out there for us. And for paying just a little bit, you can get a little bit more out of it. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and have a great day.